and welcome to the Collapse Experiment. I was not planning on doing another video today, but, uh, <laughs> uh news, news, man. So it's Sunday. It's a day that usually nothing's happening, but it's also a day that if you want to release some news that nobody might catch on, uh, you do it on usually Friday, but Sunday is also a good day. Because, you know, by the time Monday rolls around, nobody's really talking about it. Nobody really picks it up. And uh, <laughs> instead, what we have is, in the last 72 hours, several CFOs for <clears throat> Pfizer and Moderna have uh, uh, cashed out. I mean, <laughs> resigned. <laughs> Stocks are up. You, you know they've got that sweet 401k plus their uh, <clears throat> uh i'm just gonna bluntly say it, insider trading uh you know as long as the numbers are high uh, unless unless they see something coming in the the near future um i, I don't i don't understand why they would just cash out i mean they've they've got what still millions of doses that are still supposed to be sent by contract to Europe, but now certain governments in Europe are now uh, <clears throat> arguing that they don't have to pay for the shots that people don't want to receive and that they're under duress. It was a pandemic, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, these these companies are, are now looking at not just that lawsuit, but... Uh, you know, the whole, uh, we were looking for these side effects, but we didn't give the list of possible side effects out to doctors and nurses to look for. Therefore, they couldn't report it because they didn't know what to look for. But we had the list. It, somebody fumbled the ball, right? So not only did we have that little bit of news, but we also have the... Uh, a statement from the FBI that, uh, and I already covered this in my last video, but <laughs> it just boggles my mind. They're now acknowledging that there's an issue with hackers um, attacking our, our food supply chain as if uh, a refinery or factory or processing plant burning down every couple of days wasn't a huge red flag as to you know, perhaps we should be looking into something, you know, much like uh, all the foreclosures on mortgages that never should have been signed because there's some definite fraud going on. Or, you know, a bunch of guys that are on a terrorist watch list are trying to get into flight school. They seem to be really good at their jobs. <sighs> if there's one thing that we should be thanking Putin for, it's... Uh, Ending the pandemic, because as soon as the war in Ukraine started, masks started to come off. People were waving these uh, blue and yellow flags that they didn't know if they were right side up or upside down. But they are like, hey, I, I support this new thing. And then, uh, oh man. And then we started getting the reports. Then they really started pushing the war, right? There, it just the war's all over the place. You have the ghost of Kiev, Snake Island, all this false information, false, false information that the fake news coming out of Ukraine that the media was like, but it's good fake news. It's the kind of fake news we like because it supports our agenda. Why are you looking at us like that? We, we're not. We're lying to you for your own good. That's, that's our story. We're sticking to it. So the war comes out. And at the same time this war breaks out, we start getting this flood of documents that the court is requiring Pfizer to release. And what is coming out with these documents? Resignations from CFOs. <clears throat> it's not a red flag or anything. <laughs> it's... <laughs> not telling us what we didn't already know they're they're getting out of it before the proverbial poop hits the uh the fan yeah um 
there's some stuff in there they don't want people reading and people are going to read it there's going to be questions there's hopefully going to be congressional commit like something something should be coming out of this besides a hell of a lot of lawsuits oh yeah so like the rest of america uh looks like big pharma is a sinking ship that uh people are going to start getting into lifeboats in mass uh it's probably going to be the working man that ends up paying the most because, you know, they're on the line, they're doing their thing, not highly educated, and their ass is going to be shoved out the door. Meanwhile, somebody who uh, <clears throat> sold all their, their stock while it was high is vacationing somewhere. I don't remember a Crooked E or, a, or an Enron thing happening that was much like that. Do you? You know, the company starts going under, certain people quit or cash out, take these uh, <clears throat> loans from the company that, oh, the company folded, which means I don't have to pay it back. How convenient. Yeah, uh, never saw that before. So, yeah, I, I don't know what else there is to say, except maybe uh, you might get a good chuckle out of this like I did. Um, I kind of went through the whole, like, anger, laughter, uh, hysterical chuckling, um, anger again, and then just realizing that, um, it's the same stupid story that we see time and time again, where the people who are responsible for everything that transpired for the last two years, they're... They're just going to get their, their yacht and their mansion, probably some stolen yacht from a Russian oligarch, because, you know, they're, they're responsible for what their government did. Um, and they're just going to live the high life on Epstein's Island and um, enjoy themselves with uh, the monies they stole from your tax dollars to push a, a medical treatment that... You know, there was, you know, one and done, and then it was two and, and maybe more. You you can't catch it. Well, you can still catch it, but it won't be as bad. Well, well, you won't die, right? If, if you just take the fourth one, you won't die. And uh, uh, I think now they're at the, uh, oh, shit, um, cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out. Um, cause, uh, I, th I think they realized that we're, we're catching on to them. And, uh, it, I mean, the public is catching on to them. Like there's those of us out there who are just kind of like, yeah, this is kind of fishy. Like, okay, it's experimental. It, it's getting the experimental treatment from the FDA. Uh, I'm going to wait to see how these other test rabbits do before I, I get it. And then six months later, the test bunnies are running around screaming at people like me, like, why didn't you get it? And I'm like, because you now have uh, three eyes and six fingers and uh, you got COVID like five or six times since you, you've had it. But it's good for me. That's weird. Well, anyways, if if you are prone to doing so, I suggest uh, looking up some articles on this. Um, I think this is going to end up being like a big story if the main, maybe not so much on the mainstream media, but I have a feeling that other outlets are going to be picking up on this. And the fact that these people are resigning in mass for several different companies. Why is it the two biggest companies that were pushing this stuff? Why, why are they kind of like how, how Fauci was talking about retirement out of the blue? Like, what, if there isn't something out there saying uh, <clears throat> the pandemic is over, it's, it's probably this. The party's over. The party. Uh... You know, uh, that's that's done. There, it, it's time to uh, <clears throat> grab what's left of the snacks on the table. Maybe a few open bottles. Head out the door, and hopefully nobody notices. 
your ass on the way out. Uh, that's pretty much what's happening. And uh, meanwhile, somebody pooped in the punch bowl, and uh, they're they're leaving us to deal with it. Keep on typing.